Right, let's go to James. He's deep, deep below Sydney this morning. Yeah, it'd be nice to see him actually drain one. I mean, that's probably a pipe <laughs> dream, isn't it? Boom, boom. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, welcome to the real underbelly of Sydney. We're pretty much under Pitt and Hunter Street here in the tank stream. This water source was the reason why Sydney was put where it is. Now, there's so much fascinating history. The tank stream was the, the fresh water source from, from sort of 1789 right through until the 20s, but by then it became heavily polluted. So we started to use the Busby bore up, at, uh, up in uh, Centennial Park. This became so polluted uh, between the 1920s and the 1930s, but people didn't really realise that the reason that the, the pe reason people were getting so sick was because they were living next to open sewers. So by the 1950s, they started to grasp onto the fact that the open sewers might be a bad idea. So they put in four new systems to try and get rid of the sewage in, uh, in Sydney, and this is one of them. This is a pipe system called the Benelong system, and this was taking sewage from uh, out to the harbour. 19, uh, sorry, 1857 was when this was put in, three years before London had an official sewage system. So Australia was ahead of London in cleaning up the city. And you can see this is actually wood here, because when there was a hole in the pipe, they'd use wood to, to close up the hole. If it didn't quite seal it completely, the wood would expand with the liquid and seal it up. And that wood is still there. That's from the 1850s. And this pipe system, even though it's not used for sewage anymore, is still used by Sydney for stormwater, just like the tank stream system. It is a fascinating place to be, and we're so privileged to be down here this morning as we have a look at the forecast. Sunrise Weather, brought to you by Beacon's Home Renovator Sale. With 25% off all lights storewide, shop in store or online, sale on now. Showers for Cairns today in 30 degrees, fine and 35 at Mount Isa. Showers in 27 on the Sunshine Coast, fine and 23 in Toowoomba. And showers in Brisbane as well, 28. Fine and 27 at Coffs, rain and 22 at Orange. Sydney, some showers today, 28. Rain and 23 for Canberra. And late snow in Fredbo with tops of 7. Fine and 24 in Mildura, showers in 18 for Warrnambool. Melbourne, showers today, 19. Cloudy at Launceston in 18. And showers in 16 in Hobart. Showers in 18 at Mount Gambier, Adelaide, showers in 21. Fine in 27 in Cooper Pedy, and Alice Springs, fine in 33, partly cloudy in 34 for Darwin. And over to the partly cloudy in 27 in Bunbury. Showers in 27 in Perth, partly cloudy in 28 in Kalgoorlie, fine in 36 at Karatha, and sunny in 38 at Exmouth. So this, this Ben Long pipe system, it's made in the oviform style, which is like what you're looking at just down there. And this was a sewerage system because see how it's sort of a, an egg shape that goes down to a V at the bottom? That means that however deep the water is, there's always pressure pushing the water through. So for sewerage, that means that none of the solids get stuck there. So if you had a big roast on a Sunday, it would still flush all the way oh, down to the harbour. And that really, oh, I'm sorry, Koshi. And that is the reason that Sydney got cleaned up because back in the 1950s, the gold rush had started, Sydney's population was about 10,000 and th this water system was just not dealing with it until they put the sewage system in. Oh, I thought you were so delicate there calling it solids until you, were, until you went onto the roast. All right, I'm mate, sorry. thank you for that. <laughs> Terrific.